Tonight, cold case breakthrough. 24 years on, DNA leads to a double murder charge. I heard um, a muffled sort of scream. Crash grief, heartbreaking scenes as two mates are killed on their way home from work. You'll never see me again. <laughs> he doesn't get to have kids, he doesn't... This is nothing, you know. And a widow's search for answers at the opening of the inquest into the Beaconsfield mine collapse. Ten News at Five with Mal Walden and Helen Kavalos. Good evening from Ten News. Also tonight, emergency alarm. A rock throwers target a moving ambulance. But first tonight, the murder breakthrough, 24 years in the making. An arrest at last over the brutal killing of a Ferntree Gully mother and daughter. The latest DNA technology led police to a man who, until now, wasn't even a suspect for a crime that shocked the state. Arrested at a Gippsland jail, 43-year-old Russell Geeser was taken in for questioning over the horrific murders of Margaret. Meanwhile, the widow of the man killed in the Beaconsfield mine collapse has told of her grief and sadness at the opening of the inquest into her husband's death. Jackie Knight says she hopes the inquiry will prevent others from suffering a similar fate. Reporter James Wakelin is at the inquest and joins us live now from Launceston. And James, the Knight family has waited a long time. Did this first day answer any of their questions? Helen, it's uh, been two years and three months uh, uh, it's taken for Jackie Knight, her two sons and the extended Knight family to get to the point of having this coronial inquest today. Now, and now looking ahead to tonight's sport, here's Stephen. Mal, shape up or ship out. Dean Laley put Shannon Grant on notice. Justin Kozitski accepts his one-match suspension. Anyone for an injury riddled Essendon down to the bare bones for its big match against the Magpies. And Melbourne Storm scores a thumping win over St George in more ways than one. Coming up, the Aussie car designers muscling in on the US market with their new Camaro. Uh, we basically took the concept car that was released in America and held true to that design. The Sex Discrimination Commissioner claims working fathers are crying out for a fair go. 